thank you for joining us on the Sports on Prime. I am Gary Al Smith, and today we start with a bit on independence and sport. Government is determined to make sport development a keystone of economic growth. That's according to the Vice President of the Republic, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia. We know that we are committed to this country. Sports development is one aim that Nana Adudakwa Akufuado wants to focus on. And so you will so you've seen from his uh, vision as set out in the FTP manifesto that he wants to make sports development a very key stone of our economic development and social development. And this is why he has said, and we have said, that inter-college sports and sports development in schools is going to be emphasized because that becomes the bedrock for sports development as a whole. And also following that, we are going to make sure that we have the facilities for sports development. There are five regions in this country that do not have sports stadium. And Nana Kukwado has made it clear that inshallah, by the end of his government, all regions in this country will have the sports stadium. Now, for sports to be a key part of any government's economic policy, they will need money. And in the last stage of, of the nation address read by the President Nana um, Kufuado, he, through the National Sports Authority, will be seeking to do this. As you may know, um, the budget for the National Sports Authority has been increased from 22 million cities to 45.8 million Ghana cities. And Sakakwe, the boss of the National Sports Authority, is lauding the government for this. I'm uh, grateful oh, yes. to Ghana government for increasing the sports goods from 22 million to 45.8 million, more than 100% increase. Let me commend the president, the vice president, the minister of sports, minister of finance for a good work now. Normally we travel. When we travel, we don't have Team Ghana jersey. You see Team South Africa, Team Egypt, Team Togo. Team Gambia. Gambia, they have only Ghanos. Ghana, we went, Indomie came to our aid. And they gave us uh, Indomie and t shirt When we go to dining hall to eat, then they call us Team Indomie. Yeah, Team Indomie. So our players were hiding. We either go and eat very early or eat very late because we don't want to be called Team Indomie instead of Team Ghana. So I think the government has solved that problem. My brother, for more than seven years, or a little less than seven years, we haven't sent a person to any region. So the meaning is that all over Ghana, Sports activities are collapsed. It's a fact. I say it during the past government regime, and I can emphasize on that. Sports collapsed. But now we can see it's resurgent. You can be sure that there are no team Indomies at the ongoing African Under 20 Championships happening in Zambia. It's a competition that Ghana has done very well in. You recall that in 2009, after an impressive outing in the African Under-20 version, the team went on to win the World uh, Championships to become the African, the World Youth Champions. This time, there are four teams that are making it to the semi-final. Senegal is one of them, and they booked their place in the semi after defeating Cameroon 2-0. Top of Group B at the start of the day, Senegal faced Cameroon in their final Under-20 Africa Cup of Nations round-robin fixture, with Cameroon also still in the race for a place in the semi-finals. The game's opener came just before the break. A long ball from the keeper fell perfectly for Ibrahim Maniani, who delivered a big blow to Cameroon's semi-final aspirations. And Senegal moved quickly after the resumption to put themselves too clear. Niani was the provider, while Krip and Diata provided the finish. 2-0 the final score, Senegal wrapping up the top spot in the group with a comfortable win. But when he said, and that was sweet revenge for that game they played in the AFCON, South Africa also threw to the semi thanks to a 3-1 win over Sudan. The World Championships uh, will be taking place later 
and already we are having a fair idea of who will be representing Africa. Meanwhile, away from African stuff, let's go and check out what's happening with Chelsea. They could go into double figures if they win in the English Premier League tonight. As if, you know, Pep Guardiola has already called them almost unstoppable as we speak. Chelsea are leading by one goal to nil. Eden Hazard continuing his impressive season after 37 minutes with the only goal of the game so far. Expecting um, Andre Ayu to be getting some action as well. And that's the sport for now. Great to be back. I'll be seeing you tomorrow with more.